So if we press play, we should be able to actually load up and we should have both our normal hands. And now if we select our bool and we set this to true, which says we're using our quest two hands, we should actually be able to jump back in once it loads. But we can actually see we actually have both the quest two controllers set up correctly. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So yesterday I was doing a Twitch stream showing off a client project that I'm currently working on. If you want to see that and follow along with it, then check out the link below for finding me on Twitch, just GameDevXR. And in that, I actually implemented a system where I set up Oculus Quest 2 controllers for the actual motion controller pawn. So I thought we'd actually take a minute in this video and then I'll show you how to actually set that up for your own projects. So the first thing we need to do is actually download some Oculus Quest 2 controllers. They're available through the Oculus website. So I've got it already open here. So it's just Oculus controller art. You can actually just do that by searching Oculus Quest 2 controllers. And we search this comes up as actually we'll do models. And you see here we've got Oculus controller art, which once we select this, we agree. Just hit download. And I've already got this downloaded, so I'm not going to do it now. But what that'll do is it'll provide us with a file, which if I open it up, we can unzip and we'll get a folder called Oculus controller art. And in here we get a couple of different types of Oculus controllers. For this example, we're going to use the Oculus Quest 2. And I'm going to show you how we can bring this in and create an option so we can choose whether we want to use the default hands or we want to choose the controllers. So first thing we're going to do is use a blank template. We're going to create a new folder for Oculus controllers. And now we're going to bring in the actual controllers div zero. I do this because I think it's a poly count issue. So you can see that's actually a lower file. So we're just going to use this one and we can start by dragging that in. And you see here, we get the option for skeletal mesh, import mesh, and then standard FPX import options. If you don't need skeletal meshes for anything, then you can disable this. So you just untick it. But for this case, we're going to use a skeletal mesh because it comes with a rigged controller. So if you wanted to put in animations, you can do it so you can see the triggers being pulled. So we're going to do import all and you'll see what that will do is it will bring in two different types of controllers and we'll actually get a material that is built for us. We're not actually going to use this as default. We're going to delete our color and we're going to open up that file again, actually. And we're going to bring in the quest to textures. So you see here, we've got a couple of options. I'm just going to bring in the PNG. And yours might be named differently. I've renamed mine to T underscore quest controller and underscore B so for base color. Then I can drag this in. What we're going to do is we're going to now drag in our texture that we have to our material. Plug this into base color. If you're working with VR, I recommend just selecting in the main area and we're going to go rough. So if you keep an eye on the actual shader count here, 175, and we select fully rough. We should actually bring that down a little bit. Not much, but we brought it down, which is exactly what we're after. And you can see now we've got a material, we've got our controllers and they're all set up. Next thing we need to do is jump over to our motion controller pawn. I've got another content browser set up so I can easily access it. And we're gonna open up our BP motion controller. And in here, we want to move to the top right because we're going to do all our code in this area. And you'll see that if we move to the viewport, we actually have our hands, which is already in here. And the first thing we want to do is actually change our hierarchy for what's already in here. So I'm going to move my arc direction, arc spline and grab sphere and make those a child of the motion controller and not the hand. Because what we're going to do now is we're actually going to select the motion controller we're going to add and we're going to add a skeleton mesh and we're going to call this quest control sweet and you'll see now we've got a blank skeleton mesh 
so we can search for our controllers and you see that pops up here what we want is the right controller so quest 2 controllers div 0 right and then that will pop into our scene and what we need to do is just rotate this around by 90 degrees what I'm going to do while we're here actually is select our arc spline and I'm going to move this so it's a little bit more centered so just there same as the grab sphere as well as our arrow so it should be about right you can change these later on and we'll leave that for now and we're going to hit compile now what we're going to do is actually create a bool so b for bool and we're going to call this use quest controllers now we're going to drag this in we're going to do a get as well as a branch and we're going to plug that in just after the set visibility so if we're not using so by default we're going to have our use quest controllers set to false if it is false we're then going to use the hand mesh and you'll know that we haven't deleted them from the scene because we're going to keep these in here just so you've got the options and what we're actually going to do is we're going to drag in a reference to our quest 2 controllers and we're going to set visibility and plug that just in between both so what we're going to do is if we're using the hands so if the quest controllers are set to false we're going to set them to hidden and then we're going to use the hand mesh as it is to then invert it as we normally would what we need to do now is to get our second controller so if we pressed play we would only have the right controller in our hand it might be mirrored but it wouldn't work so what we're going to do is we're going to copy our set visibility our hand and our switch on e controller uh, hand we're going to do control c control v and just paste it above and now from our true we're going to plug that into visibility and we're going to get a reference to our hand mesh so now what we're doing is if we're using our quest 2 controllers we're going to set the hands to hidden so we won't be able to see them and now we need to set our skeleton mesh to use our left and right hands super simple we just do a reference to our quest controllers drag that in set skeletal mesh and then plug that into left so if we press play we should be able to actually load up and we should have both our normal hands and now if we select our bool and we set this to true which says we're using our quest two hands we should actually be able to jump back in once it loads and you see it's a little bit laggy on my end just because of my machine i think but we can actually see we actually have both the quest 2 controllers set up correctly and they actually almost exactly where they should be and that's pretty much it if you're a patreon and you want to get access to this i'll have it up in the template folder so if i just bring that over for now so if you're not aware already the all the tutorials i've been adding to a custom template project which you guys can access through the patreon it has all the 2d tv stuff 360 video examples 2D loading screens, which has a, a video coming soon, a 3D keyboard example, and basically everything on this list now. So if you want to get access to this, you can do that through the Patreon, and it's already set up the same way as we've just done. So if you're new to the channel, don't forget to like. It actually helps quite a bit for other people to see these videos and the content, especially those just starting out. If you, if you aren't subscribed, then do so helps as well but for now maybe possibly head over to the discord check it out over there and maybe check out the patreon as well see how you see if there's anything here that could help but until next time stay safe and i'll see you then